He suffers from a serious humanitarian and security situation which exacerbates the social instability and poverty caused by centuries of colonial and neo-colonial plunder, development and foreign interventions. To update us from the current situation facing that sister Caribbean nation and its struggle for its definitive independence, our collaborator Danny Shaw talked with Esaye Jules, leader of Mola Gaf, the movement for equality and liberation for Haitians. During the conversation, the Haitian social and political activists tell us about the true nature of the so-called gangs and their attacks on the civilian population. The so-called gangs are actually paramilitaries that are attacking Solino and Fort National and our neighborhoods. There are already estimates that set the number of internal refugees in all Haiti between 300,000 to 500,000 who are suffering from this paramilitary war against the civilian population of Port-au-Prince. We want to continue mobilizing against the dictatorship, but the paramilitaries continue attacking us, displacing us, burning our houses. They have murdered several relatives of our comrades. It is important to continue mobilizing the neighborhoods against colonialism. And now we are facing the threat from Kenya. The imperialism was to use Kenya to invade Haiti with over one or two thousand soldiers. And all the weapons that are being used in this war against the population come from the United States. In another part of the conversation, Asayo referred to the struggle for countries' independence and its present and future challenges. We have to dismantle the conventional discourse. They have been haunting us, the popular leaders. Those who have resisted and fought for many years for a total economic and political change in Haiti. February the 7th is the historical day of the general elections. But we haven't had democratic elections since 1990 and 2001. We continue to fight for social economic demands. Because we don't believe in the traditional system that continues to exploit and repress us. In the fields and in the free trade zones where they exploit the cheap labor force. 